on a calm Sunday morning in Huabin, a town nestled in the heart of Ghana's Ashanti region, history was made. Against the backdrop of community pride and excitement, the vice president and presidential candidate of the new patriotic party, NPP, Dr. Mahamudu Bawumia, unveiled a groundbreaking initiative poised to reshape the future of education in Ghana. The commissioning of the Otuo Siraboe STEM Junior High School was not merely a celebration of bricks and mortar, but a monumental step forward in the nation's educational journey. As the morning sunlight bathed the new facility, the air was filled with an unmistakable sense of promise and ambition. This was no ordinary school. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. The Otuo Sirabo STEM Junior High School stands as a beacon of hope, symbolizing a commitment to a transformative approach to education. Named in honor of Nana Otuo Sirabo II, the paramount chief of Juabin, the institution is a testament to the fusion of tradition and innovation. Nana Otuo Sirabo, visibly moved by the occasion, expressed his gratitude for the honor. I express my gratitude to the government for the honor of having the school named after me. We also acknowledge the progress made in our community and extend our thanks for the establishment of the school. My constituents have committed to supporting Dr. Bawumia in recognition of the advancements in Juwa Ben. The building itself is a marvel. Its sleek design and state-of-the-art facilities reflect the aspirations of a nation determined to position itself as a leader in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, education. Inside, students will find advanced laboratories equipped for biology, physics, chemistry, and computer science. Um, these are not just rooms filled with equipment, but spaces designed to spark curiosity and fuel innovation. The government's vision for the school is clear, to create an environment where young minds can explore, experiment, and excel, laying the foundation for a technologically savvy and innovation-driven future. For Huabin, the opening of this school is a pivotal moment. The town has long been a hub of culture and tradition, and now it takes its place on the map as a center for modern education. As community members gathered to witness the inauguration, there was a shared recognition of the profound impact this institution would have on their children and future generations. It is an investment not just in education, but in the very fabric of the community. Dr. Baumia, addressing the crowd, emphasized the broader significance of the project. The Otuo Sirabo STEM Junior High School, and the many more being built across the country, are more than just buildings. They represent a commitment to providing cutting-edge facilities for our students. Equipped with advanced biology, physics, chemistry, and computer laboratories, they offer a holistic learning environment that fosters curiosity, innovation, and growth. His words echoed a larger vision, one that extends beyond Wabin. The government's initiative to establish similar STEM-focused schools across Ghana is a bold step towards aligning education with the demands of the 21st century world. It is a recognition that the future belongs to those who are prepared for the technological and scientific challenges ahead. The emphasis on STEM and STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, education at the senior high school level, combined with measures such as free Wi-Fi in tertiary institutions and the provision of laptops for educators, underscores a comprehensive strategy to elevate Ghana's educational standards. But what does this mean for the students who will walk through the doors of the Otuo Siraboe STEM Junior High School? For many, it represents an opportunity that was once out of reach. It is a chance to engage with subjects and technologies that will open doors to careers in fields like engineering, medicine, information technology, and beyond. It is an opportunity to dream bigger, to see themselves not just as participants in their local economies, but as contributors to global progress. The scene at the commissioning ceremony painted a picture of hope and determination. Traditional leaders, educators, parents, and children came together, united by the belief that education is the key to unlocking potential. The modern architecture of the school stood in stark contrast to the ancient traditions of Huabin, yet the two coexisted harmoniously, symbolizing a bridge between Ghana's rich heritage and its forward-looking aspirations.
The story of the Otuo Siriboy STEM Junior High School is not just about a single community. It is a chapter in a larger narrative about the transformative power of education. In a world increasingly defined by rapid technological advancements, countries that invest in STEM education today are positioning themselves for success tomorrow. Ghana's commitment to this path is evident in the ambitious rollout of these model schools and the resources being allocated to ensure their success. As the sun set over Wabin, casting a golden glow on the newly inaugurated school, the weight of the moment was unmistakable. This was far more than a ribbon-cutting ceremony. It marked the beginning of a transformative journey. For the students who would soon fill its classrooms, the Otuo Siriboy STEM Junior High School symbolized a chance to redefine their futures. Within these walls, young minds would be nurtured, inspired, and equipped to navigate a world where science, technology, and innovation dictate progress. For the educators who will walk these halls, the school represents a unique opportunity to shape the next generation. Armed with cutting edge tools and facilities, teachers will no longer be constrained by outdated methods or inadequate resources. Instead, they will have access to advanced laboratories and interactive learning tools that make abstract concepts tangible and engaging. Their mission, however, extends beyond imparting knowledge. They will be tasked with instilling a love for discovery, a sense of curiosity, and the resilience to solve complex problems, skills essential for thriving in a rapidly evolving global landscape. The community of Wabin II stands to gain immensely. The establishment of this school is a testament to the belief that development is not just about infrastructure, but also about empowering people. Parents see in the school a beacon of hope for their children's futures, a place where potential can be realized regardless of socioeconomic background. Local businesses and industries are likely to benefit as well, with the promise of a more skilled workforce emerging from these classrooms in the years to come. Yet, the Otuo Siriboy STEM Junior High School is just the beginning. The government's ambitious plans to replicate this model nationwide signal a commitment to equitable development. By ensuring that STEM education is accessible to all regions, including underserved and rural areas, Ghana is laying a foundation for inclusive growth. It acknowledges that the promise of a brighter future cannot be limited to urban centers, but must extend to every corner of the nation. Each new school built will serve as a catalyst for change, lifting communities and creating opportunities that were once unimaginable. This broader vision reflects a recognition that the future belongs to those who are prepared. In an era defined by digital innovation and technological advancements, countries that invest in STEM education today are positioning themselves for leadership tomorrow. By equipping young Ghanaians with the tools to compete on a global stage, the nation is ensuring that its youth will not only adapt to change, but drive it. As the vice president's convoy departed Huabin, the excitement in the community lingered. The inauguration of the Otuo Siriboy STEM Junior High School left an indelible mark, one that will be remembered for generations. For the people of Huabin, this school is a tangible reminder of what can be achieved when vision, dedication, and action converge. Ultimately, uh, the Otuo Siriboy STEM Junior High School is more than a building. It is a testament to the transformative power of education. It is a promise to every child who walks through its doors, a promise that their dreams are valid, their potential is limitless, and their future is bright. It stands as a symbol of hope, a commitment to progress, and a bold declaration that Ghana's greatest resource lies not in its gold or cocoa, but in the minds of its people. Uh, with schools like this paving the way, the country is poised to write a new chapter, one defined by innovation, equity, and the boundless possibilities of an educated nation. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.